Hey guys, this is me, Cruel, back again with another action video on this channel. Today we will watch out Itzy's comeback with Loco, and this is the title track for their very, very first full album called Crazy in Love. Super, super excited for that because honestly, historically speaking, Itzy albums have been chef's kiss. Especially It's Me is probably one of my favorite girl groups albums in the past three years. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to listen to all of the B-sets. Um, I don't know when I will do that. Maybe I will actually film an album review to that on Patreon next week. Uh, I have not picked uh, the album I want to review, so maybe this one is a good idea. I don't know. Let's see. But yeah, let's check out the title trick first today. Loco, I have not seen any teaser. Let's begin. If you're new to the channel, I guess I'm cool. I wreck your K-pop every single day. Wreck your boy groups, girl groups, solo artists, big artists, smaller artists. So if you're interested in everything multi stand wise then check out my channel. And if you like the video and my you know, channel in general, make sure to hit the like button to support me. That helps a lot. Thank you. Now, a quick shout out to my Patreon lineup as well for September before we get started with the video itself. Special shout out goes out to Follow to Yatna, Mir Subins, and Risi Roller. Thank you guys. Let's begin with Loco. Jesus. It would be kind of funny if Loco is in here. I doubt that. Oh, wait, are they playing Need for Speed? Whoever that is. Oh my god, Yeji! Jesus! Oh shit! Dude, I can't handle her with long hair. Oh my god. <laughs> this, this beat. Ooh. You know? Oh my god, she looks amazing. Why is she in the cell? Okay. Yeji. Okay, my bias is Yuna, but Yeji is absolutely the biggest tracker in life. So. <laughs> Yujin, stop. Hey, Chilean! Oh, different hair. Oh, this is really good. Oh, sh that's such a chainsaw. Yo, no. <laughs> Wait, a few things first before we go into the post chorus with Yuna going crazy. Um, literally, this is the most normal chorus sound from Itzy I've ever heard in the title trick. It was a weird sentence, but yes, this is the most most normal chords I've ever heard from them, uh, title track wise, right? But on the same hand, the music video is still crazy. <laughs> There's so many things happening, like, I don't even know what to say, there's like blocks that say crazy and laugh, and they all crumble and like build into something new, and then they crumble again, and like, we're on a bridge in a green screen, and like, the outfits are wild, and ah, uh, my brain. They change outfits every two seconds too, and like the post. Leah, man. God, yes, you know. Get that set of time. Oh, into Yeji too. Yujin. Blonde. Oh, fuck. Oh, I love her with red hair. Yo, get the screen time! No, 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 no! What is that? What is that outfit and hair? Yuna, please! Yo, ho, ho! The stockings? The 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 leather? Is it even leather? <laughs> I think so. The leather latex dress. The pearl. Choker necklace, I don't know. The purple in the hair, the curliness, the look in her face. On her face, I guess. The way she's. Okay. I can watch this scene like five million times. That's Milo. <laughs> oh. Ooh, the eyes. And the ears, I guess. 
Oh, that was cool. Are we, are we sun me now? For a pump? <laughs> Oh, it's a bop too! <laughs> I love it already! Oh, yes! Oh, fuck, on water too. Okay, sorry for spraying, but on water. Oh, Ryujin! Ah! Nah, dude! And we're still like one and a half minutes off the end. Oh my god, extended? I love it. <laughs> I love it. Straight up. To the outfit. The outfits, man. What is this now? Like, there was almost an outro. Or bitch, I don't know, but what, what's happening? <laughs> They're preparing for their final stage. That's so... Dude, that's, if that's actually the build-up to the final chorus, I absolutely freaking love this. Because them actually preparing it themselves to go on stage and slay one more time. Visually as well in the video. That's so iconic. Oh my god. Please let it be. Please let it be the final chorus. Please. I'm gonna die. Get in loco. Oh yes, come on. Please. Please. Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh, fuck! Oh my god, you know. I'm crying. I'm crying. I'm crying. Oh, sh dude, the way they have flip and cherry on. Okay. Oh uh, yes. <laughs> Yo! Wait! The little things. The steam out of whatever that was just passed into the black bars of the video. Through it. Look at that. On the top. I love those things, dude. Oh, man. Okay, there's just like always a good and bad thing about this, by the way. About this effect. Like, the good thing about this, this looks fucking sick. Sorry for swearing, but now that I'm swearing anyway, I'm gonna just keep going. It looks really sick. But the second thing is, it makes me, at the, on the other hand, right away think, oh, it's kind of sad that it didn't film in 1610, but in 169, right? So, saying that, why are the black bars even here in the first place? Because it shows me that they could have just, or like, they very likely filmed in 16 to 10 without the black bars but they added the bars later on and i don't know why you would do that because i feel like it looks always a bit better in 16 10 i don't know it has probably an effect on viewers i am not aware of right they know more than me of course i mean they they are the ones doing this and knowing what works and what does uh, doesn't but i have really no idea what effect this has on me like am i more sunk into a music video if it's 69 than 16 10 do I not pay as much attention on the, the video quality, but actually on the performance itself, if that's the case? I don't know. Are they, like, tricking us into something? I don't know. But that's always what I think, you know? 1610 looks pretty crisp, so I, I do prefer that usually. I don't know, right? <laughs> Whoa, what a good song. Oh, my freaking God. I love the hard shapes there on the buildings. Wow. This is absolute perfection. Like, I don't know what I will title this video. I have to find something that fits because I, I have a lot of things in mind. And uh, when I watch this, I'm already six, almost seven hours late to this release now because this drops in the middle of the night for me. And I, you know, I, well, it drops at 6 a.m. <laughs> it's not necessarily middle of the night, but I do wake up pretty late. I wake up at like 10 to 11 a.m. So that's four to five hours later, right? So, um,. Yeah, it is what it is. Soon enough, I guess I will wake up earlier because my university that I will attend soon starts at 8 a.m. So obviously I will wake up probably 7 again. Um, 
yeah, thing is I can't actually film this anyway before university. Other than I wake up at exact 7 and I right away do it. Maybe then. But I can't do it at 6 because uh, I actually have like a rule in my student dorm where I live at that uh, you can't wake up before 7 unless... Or like you can't be loud. Like there's like there's a rule that you have to be quiet until 7 a.m. to give people the chance to sleep till then. Right? So I can't... Obviously I can't record. Probably. <laughs> Who knows? And obviously I need an alarm clock to wake up. I have a very, very deep sleep, so I need an alarm clock. And uh, I don't think that's... Yeah, it's very loud before 7 a.m., so I probably wake up at 7 the earliest. Anyway, now that is local. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Like everything. The chorus, the outfits, the concept. I love all of them in this one. Absolutely, they all killed it. I, I am very proud of them. This song is a banger, dude. This song is a banger. And I, the, the most... The craziest thing to me is... First and foremost, it's the dance break they had after the second chorus where they were dancing on water and it was like a beat breakdown as well. I love that part so much. But then right after, they keep going with the, I guess, the break, bridge, whatever. They keep going with that. And then they transition into a, an, an actual pause of the song, uh, almost acting pause for this music video. And I'm assuming this is actually not in the song itself, but who knows. And in that part in the video, they actually... Prepare the members themselves. Prepare the stage and everything. Like they work on putting the stage together that they're gonna perform the final chorus on and slay everyone. I love that they, like they like. We know this is iconic. We know we're gonna kill you all, but we're just doing this just to tease you a little bit more. And we are very much aware of what we're doing now. And I love that so much. It is so confident and it is so. Itzy to me, right? This is a weird thing. I, I forgot when they debuted. Was it Dalla Dalla 2019? Early? Or was it already 2018? I, I think it was early 2019, though. I remember it was a year after Idol, right? So, yeah. They're only a two and a half year group. But to me, honestly, up until this era, they still felt like rookies. I don't know what it was about them. I, I really don't know, but it felt still like rookies. Really, really freaking good rookies. But they felt like rookies to me. This is the first time they don't. Absolutely don't. They're a big ass group right now. Not just, like, I know the numbers were already big, and I mean the JRP and stuff like that. But this one, in, in the, the way they performed it, the way they acted, the way this just has an effect on me. Absolutely, they're a big group. And I know I'm doing a lot of with hands right now, I'm sorry. But I'm excited. I'm really excited. This is so good. And before I clicked on this, I saw Ben reacting to it and having the title uh, Have Me Going Crazy or something like that. Which is a really long title for Ben. I was very surprised to see that. But I really understand why he did it. It's a monster reference and it also works really well with the song. So I would love to use the title. But I will think of something. I don't know what. Have a nice day. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace.